Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the channel. This is episode three of our Netherlands de Groff shop save. And uh, episode three, I think I said that. But if I didn't, it is episode three. So real quick, let's jump into the map, figure out where we're at. I need to kind of learn my geography and check out some of the area. And, you know, we like to do that in our, in our saves. But uh, anyway... This is, of course, where I live. I live right down around here, right there. And uh, so we're going way across the water. Now, I have uh, ancestry that goes back down into this area of France, which I know absolutely nothing about. But we're coming up here through Belgium, just to the northwest of Germany, and we are in the Netherlands. So I don't know a whole lot about the Netherlands. Um, I actually worked with a girl, a woman from there, and we have this stuff here called Nutella. It's like a chocolate spread, and uh, she said that was not the Nutella, but they, the Netherlands had a, was really big into this chocolate spread, and it was before we had Nutella. This was about 15 years ago. And uh, she actually gave me a jar uh, for my kids, and they loved it. So uh, that was like the precursor for us for Nutella. And uh, so they uh, now they're into Nutella because we can't get that Netherlands stuff here. But uh, I've heard of The Hague. As far as I know, it's the only town that I can think of that has the in the title. Um that's, so that's a little unusual. Anybody know why it has the word the in the name of the town? That's odd. I don't. I, I know I've heard it. Don't know what's unique or special about it. Uh, I have heard of Amsterdam, of course. Uh, I know uh, a couple of guys I watch on YouTube have gone to Amsterdam and uh, evidently have a lot of fun there. Uh, pretty sure it's popular for a red light district, uh, drugs. Not sure what else. If that's what you're known for, that I don't know, you know, but hey, who am I to judge? All right, but anyway, we are, wow, that's a lot of roads. Uh, so if we take a look here getting into the Netherlands, we're coming off to the, more to the east here, and the area of Dotenchim, I, I hope I was even close to that. So that's this little outlined area, and that's where we are at. And we will zoom in here a little more. Looks like this this looks like farmland to me, just the little patterned uh, areas. But that looks like that to me. Really don't see a major. I mean, you know, you do have like suburbs here, major urban area right through here. Not sure what the population is. Population of fifty-seven thousand. Okay. So it's not a very big area. I mean, that may be big there. You have to realize I live in an area with about 8 million people. Uh, so <laughs> um, like my sub, my subdivision, my suburb has, you know, more than 57,000 people. So uh, anyway, let's see. I am looking for. All right. So let's see. We kind of come down through here. We have a college area. Probably a university down in there, racing suspension shop. So this is this is actually a very major looking area. Could be a campus of some sort, car washing company, or just a commercial area. But if we come off, you have the sub subdivisions here, and right off the subdivision, and then you have yeah, like I said, that looks like farmland, that looks plowed. Doesn't look like golf courses. I guess they could have a golf course, but that looks like farmland. Some parks out here. Look, maybe those are training pitches out here, maybe. But this is the Weiseverberg. Not sure. Uh, that is the real stadium that they play in. Of course, they have a new stadium that was built in game. So I don't know where it's at, but we'll assume they tore this one down and, and built a new one. So we've got some parking out here. Uh, looks looks like the ticket office and the entrance into the grounds. If we put that, we can actually get on the pitch. Yay! I like when they do that. All right, so we'll come down into the stadium and we will look around. All right, so there's one end. Not sure which end. All right. 
So nothing, nothing super fancy. One tier, a lot of covered seating, so that's good. If we come out, we can then zoom in. Maybe let's zoom in out here and just take a look from the outside. All right, so here's the car park. So if we turn around, right there, business offices. All right, welcome. I'm hey, welcome. I can I can read that. Probably not the correct pronunciation, but Stadium de Vizverberg for de Graf Shop. Nice. Wish we could zoom in on that. Oh, we can. Hello. Can't read it. Stadium de Vizverberg. Yeah, I need Google Translate to help me out here. <laughs> help me out. The door's open. Are they going to let us in? No, we, we're... Oh, my God. Can we get inside? We can get inside. Holy hell. An invasion. Ticket office, I'm guessing. Oh, we've got stairs. Escalator. Let's go down this way. Oh, my gosh. Can we get into the locker room? That would be incredible. Toe gang? I don't even want to, Well, it's probably not. Jupiler League. That's what I was thinking of the other day when I was trying to remember the old name of the league. Now it's the Campion. You know, but it used to be the Jupiler. At least it was always the Jupiler in Football Manager. Not sure if that was always correct or not. Let's see, what's in here? Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh, it's the training room. Hello. Oh, there's the physio. What's what's over there? Can I go in there? Can I go in there? Oh, damn it. Yes, we can get in there. All right, more training facilities. This looks like it might be... If I had to guess, this is probably for the B team or the under 18 side. If I had to guess, I want to get back down here. I want to go back in, in the nice, nice dressing room. All right, we'll get down over here. There we are. All right, so we're in the corner. There's our goalkeepers. All right. Got uh, lockers, showers. Toilets, dressing area, keepers down at one end. All right, and man, it's just like uh, it's just like FM twenty one, where you've got down one side across the top and down the other side. So this is where we're look standing, uh, giving the speeches in the game, looking at the the people around us. That's awesome. All right, well that's enough. That's cool that we were able to get inside the stadium. Let's come down into the neighborhood. All right, so some nice size houses. You know, a lot of a lot of areas that I've I've done saves in. You know, you're looking at the the really small, more shanty town houses, which is fine. Uh, but these are pretty nice looking. That is either a business or like maybe an apartment complex. Let's head this way just for because I have no idea where I'm at and I'll never see this in real life. All right, just going through the subdivision. What do we got going on over here? Let's back up a little bit. Mm. Oh, tennis courts. All right, so you know, you can get some more physical activity in. Well, we've got one of our neighbors riding a bike there. Nice. Okay, so subdivision. All right, well, we've seen the stadium. We've actually seen the locker room. That was cool. Very glad to see that. Let's get into some football manager. Taking a look from last episode, we started off well. We ended up with the 3-3 draw against Eindhoven and uh, got goals from uh, Macaui, a brace, and Muhammad got on the score sheet. Another 2-2 draw against Helmand. And Muhammad and Macaui both on goal again. 3-1 win over Usselmer Vogels. I don't know. The U-Team. 
Uh, 3-1, got goals from John Toll, the left winger, Body Selleck, and Soren Kuk, uh, center back. That was a set piece. Rhoda, JC. These JCs, aren't these like... Are these B teams that can't get promoted or relegated? Is that what those are? Let me know in the comments if you if you know. Uh, one one draw and Muhammad scored the goal for us. Selleck was sent off minutes into the second half with a second yellow, so we were a man down for the most part. A four nil win against Young PSV or Young PSV. Muhammad with a brace, McCowie back on goal, and Stamen are number ten. So again, all three of our attackers finding the net. And Heracles two nil win. They had a player sent off in the seventy fourth minute. Muhammad got the early goal for us, and Martinez off the bench got one in reserve. So if we take a quick look at the squad. There's your goal leaders, eight goals in eight matches for Muhammad, and his XG is 5.8, so he's well over that. McCowie, six goals in eight with a XG of 3.04, so double his XG. And Martinez, two goals in four reserve appearances, and his XG is 0.78, so they are really overperforming here. We also have a pair of goals from Fadi Selic. And then four other players have also found the net. Our assist leader is Isaac Hellstrom, and he has done that with three assists in just two matches. So we'll take a look at him, new player on loan, and two assists from a couple of other guys, John Toll, Rowan Peters, and Jeffrey Dahan. So that is what's going on there. Jumping into transfers, we have welcomed some new players. We have brought in, you did see Needham. He hadn't played for us yet, but there's Needham. So he is a left back, just in case you had forgotten. I think we looked at him last episode. So he came in. The very next day, we got in uh, Cedric De Bruyne. Uh, he is a right back, but he can play multiple positions and a jack of all trades. One start, four sub appearances, 6.8 rating. Uh, in those three-star current, four-star potential, we signed him to a full contract. 23-year-old uh, Belgian player, no no caps. Physicals are average, but he's got pretty decent mentals, solid work rate for this level, really good at tackling, and he can do the job marking and passing and crossing. So I actually like him as the as an attacking uh, wing back in the back. And he's not a bad mid-winger, too. We can possibly train him up there. And that's where we have uh, Fadi Selleck. Then we brought in Seadel uh, Weidenbosch. Just a guess. On loan, I'm going to call that Weidenbosch. Uh, but he's 21 years old from... I don't know where that is. Where is that? I have no idea what country that is. Suriname, that's got to be a Caribbean country, and I've never heard of it. I wonder what it used to be called. <laughs> that's the important question. What did it used to be called? That's probably what I know it as. But anyway, he is uh, 21 years old, solid physicals, four-star potential. I like his mentals as well, most of them. Uh, teamwork needs a little bit, work rate's a little low, but he's very good at tackling, marking. Crossing is a little bit better than some of our other left backs, so he can fit in there. He's on loan, and uh, he'll play a little bit, but we'll see. Nico Sabuni comes from Telstar. We paid a million dollars for him. I hope we didn't get ripped, but he's three and a half star current, four star potential, Really good physicals. He is left-footed, which I have not seen a lot of. Very good mentals as well, including a stellar work rate and bravery. Crossing is below average, but still decent. Marking, passing, tackling are all good. He can play left back, but I think he might be able to move up to that left wing. And his heading leaves a little bit to be desired, mostly because he's five foot seven. So don't see him playing in that center back, but uh, he does have average passing, so possibly he could move up into that defensive mid-roll if we wanted him to. 
So we'll we'll take a look at him. We'll see where he fits into things. And then Isaac Hellstrom from Hobro. He is on loan, and he is a left and right winger. You can see he's already started two matches with three assists. Decent crossing, really good dribbling, very pacey. So only two and a half star ability. He's already maxed out at 24, but we needed a winger, and he can play both. And that allows either Toll to go to the bench or Hellstrom to come off the bench. And if he keeps contributing assists and setting up goals like he is, uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have a lot of fun with him. All right, let's get into the match today. We're playing Go Ahead. We're currently in second, and this will be a home match. Everything looks mostly the same. Fadi Selick on the right wing. Hellstrom will start at the left wing today. Everybody else, uh, Deere, of course, has taken over left back roles since we got him in. Uh, Nijman, Kook, Dahan on the back line. Take a look at Baral, 16 years old. He's he's capped at U20. He got called up for the uh, for the Dutch national team, and see, it even says Dutch here. So I'm not going to feel bad about saying Dutch. So Dutch kind of is what I my normal go to. So I apologize it, when I do say it, but it says Dutch in the game, so it's not my fault. But uh, taking a look, he has done really well. Seven goals, seven appearances, three clean sheets, playing a 7-1-9 at 16 years old. I think the kid is going to be really good. Now, how far, you know, how far he can go, I don't know. But anyway, let's get to the match. All right, they look a little motivated. And we are going to get into it here. I think we're doing really great. 19 points from nine matches. Let's uh, let's demand more. See, in the beta, you were able just to click on demand more. Now you have to do individual or team there. And that just seems a little odd. We've got eight shots, four on target, not point eight three. We're on the verge of a breakthrough, possibly. Deidre played back there. Over the top, and a little volley by McCowie. Was he on sides? If it is, if he was, that's his seventh of the season. Are we going to see a replay? Always kind of, you know, leery about these. Oh, perfect, perfect placement there. And just got a foot on it. Seventh goal of the season. That's incredible looking. 1-0. We should be able to take that in at the half. And we do. So 1.17 XG. We did get the goal out of it. That is great. Uh, let's let the assistant coach give the talk and get back out to it. Let's encourage him here in the early going. Well, there's a nice ball down. McCowy, he holds it up, then into the touch line where he loses it. Body Selleck pulls it in. There's a nice ball into space, and it bounces off the woodwork. McCowy is there for the rebound, and he's got eight, his second goal of the game. Right place, right time. Perfect rebound right to him. Got to be happy with that. A little unlucky on that shot from the left wing. I didn't see who took that. That was uh, that was Hellstrom. Oh, Hellstrom should have put that in the corner of the net. But McCowie, right place, right time, and we are up 2-0 and have climbed to the top of the table here. All right, so our left back's on a yellow card. Our defensive mids on a yellow card. That was interesting. I've noticed that a little bit more, too. Oh, look at the 1-2 passing. Good save by the keeper. No, I hit the post. Hit the post. I thought that was a save by the keeper. But I've noticed on some of the cross-field passings, the ball has a little bit of a bend to it. That's kind of interesting. We are seeing some decent 1-2 passing. I've taken off uh, run at defense 
Just I don't want them, uh, you know, playing with the ball as much because none of them are really good enough. Oh, he just turned. Oh, unlucky. That was a nice step over to get it to the, around the defender. All right, let's uh, let's take a look here. We're gonna pause it. You know, Muhammad is struggling a little bit, so let's take him off. Let's bring Martinez on. And then we can bring, let's bring Wreckers off. Now, who do I have behind him? I have Kazar. I've got our new guy, De Bruyne. You know what? Let's bring, let's bring him on. He's on, he's on the bench. Let's bring him on. This might be his debut. I guess I need to unpause the game. That would be helpful, RC. He's already dead. A thigh injury. Jesus. Well, I guess we're going to Kazar, and that'll be our last sub of the game. That's disappointing. I think we bought a broken appliance here. I wonder what the return policy is. <laughs> oh, there's a header, but Varau, what a save. Got to be impressed with this kid. 16 years old? Wow. And you know it the game tells you that goalkeepers don't hit their don't hit their prime until their 30s, you know. Oh my god, off the woodwork. That should have bounced in. How did we not get that goal? Uh let's praise the entire team. Another header off the woodwork. Oh, that is brutal. We have been so unlucky. Um, I want to look at this. Match stats. Here we go. Woodwork. Four woodworks in the match. Wow. That is insane. And why can't I put this here? We've got all this room. It's not like we're going to need all of that. I wonder if that's movable. Trying to see if I get a little bounce up here. It doesn't look like it. But this, you should be able to move this down and get that whole thing on here. That's what I think. That could be better. All right, well, we ended up with a 2.27 to a 0.14 XG. They only had three shots, two on target. Very, very dominant game. We're going to go pleased with a good win. Well done. I'm going to go away from my ass man there. Top of the table, 21 points. Varal, 9.7. He's been training real well. I've been hugging him a lot. His morale's way up. Wreckers, I'm not going to criticize that. And we are top of the table. So how bad? He's out three to four weeks. He didn't stretch good before going on the field. You need to let me know this, uh, De Bruyne, that you're not ready. Jeez. Oh, that's brutal. All right, we will be back. Uh, it's going to take me a little while here, 14 days. We'll be back for Volindum Bolind uh, in the league. And so we'll see you guys for that here in just a second. I tell you what, they don't pull any punches on loans here in the Netherlands, man. You remember we just loaned this guy, Ciadel Wijenbosch from MVV? Got him on loan? Yeah, he's not with us anymore. Uh, he just joined us a month ago, well, two months ago now, and he hasn't made one appearance, and they've already recalled him from loan. I was like, damn. <laughs> so... He was, you know, I mean, he, you know, we had signed that other guy, so he he ended up being extra. So it's probably a good thing he got taken away. But I'm like, damn. Uh, we have brought in one other player, Raleigh Kashindi. Uh, we got him on a free, so I think he's eligible to play right away. He's from uh, the Congo, Dominican Republic of the Congo. 
Uh, not the paciest, but uh, you know he has great jumping reach. He is six foot three. He is one of the few people uh, that have set foot in the boundaries of the Netherlands that has over a ten heading rating. So uh, that was interesting. So I think he's going to be a real solid center back. Not sure if he's going to be our first choice or not, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And we also have an offer accepted on another center back, uh, Elgero Neteb, and he is 21 years old. He is a Dutch player, capped at the U19 level. We paid uh, 245000 for him. Six feet tall, very good fitness, great work rate, which I uh, that's, that's something I'm going to be looking at, I think, at, in this game. Uh, at, at least at this level. No flair, but he can do a decent job passing, marking, again, heading over a 10 with jumping reach. I was astounded. So I felt, and, you know, being that he was Dutch, I felt he was worth the money. So we went ahead and splurged. Uh, he can be a no-nonsense fullback, uh, four-and-a-half star rating there. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. He'll join us mid-season. So that is good. But, hey, you know, I was really stunned that they, and I didn't even know you could cancel a loan that fast, basically in the same, it's, we're not even in a transfer window, and they canceled the loan. I was like, what the hell's that? <laughs> um, I want, let's give Martinez a start. Elstrom's in, Body Selleck. Roykers, Roy Vandenhaar. I'm going to put him in. Let's give him a start here. And, yeah, let's get to it. Kashindi, he pulls number 40 out of the locker. Let the assistant coach give the, give the run there. And we're going to get to it. We get an early set piece from the corner. And it looks like we hit woodwork again. Jesus. You know how hard it is to hit woodwork? I mean, really? <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Why are we listed twice over here? That was interesting. Let's demand more. We have a couple of guys that are uh, uninterested, possibly. There's Vandenhaar headed out. Elstrom's there. Laid off. Stamen making a run up. Uh, lays it into McCowie. Back to Vandenhaar. There's a ball in. Headed out. That should be... That should be it unless they get uh, the counter here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What a save. What a save. Viral has kept us in this one. Come on, you got you can't let him take the kick. You got to do like the referee did to Leeds last week. Good, oh, good save! Wow. All right, they got two good shots on target there, right at the end, to give them a nice jump up in XG. Not a lot happening. Point two nine to point four zero. We are gonna aggressive. Well. Hands together. I'm going to say unlucky. We're going to go that route. Then we're going to demand more. McCowie is playing a 6 3. Vandenhaar over the top. Martinez. Thibaut Martinez. Third goal of the season. I don't know if you pronounce that last T. I'm pronouncing that with the Cajun French. Thibaut. Not not like Tim Tebow, but he bought, he boy, he bought. That's how I'm pronouncing it. And he was on sides. Tell you what, the guys in this game are much better than the Premier League about staying on sides. That's reassuring. All right, uh, just kind of keeping an eye here. 
getting up towards subbage time. You know what? I am going to make an early sub here. Uh, I'm going to move Martinez over to the left, and we are going to bring Muhammad on there. And who do I have that can play here? Vandermeulen, attacking central mid. Yeah, let's give him a shot. Get that yellow card off the field. Not a real needed save, but, you know, we need to play some of these guys, right? Hellstrom plays it across. There's a header by Fadi Selick. Selick's a guy that kind of worries me because he looks like he's unfit. Like, that he can't stay on the pitch for long periods. Vandenhart already in the yellow. And tell you what, we are going to pull off, uh, let's pull off Nijman for Samuni. I don't usually like pulling, he can actually play a ball playing defender. Hopefully we don't even see a highlight. We'll be happy with a 1-0 victory here, and we will take that. Very defensive match. Only three of our ten shots on target. 1.23 to 0.62. 81% passing, 59% possession. Martinez gets the winning goal, so that's good. And we'll let the coach make that call. All right, so we are top of... Oh, wow, we've actually moved... Four points clear of Emmon with a game in hand. Actually, this may not have applied yet. Let's let's get out of the day to make sure. Just to make sure. I think that's going to be accurate. There we go. All right, so four points clear with a game in hand. Anybody noticing this? Shh. Don't say anything. We don't want to jinx it. All right, the board, if we look at the uh, club vision, we're an A+. Plus. Delighted with our league performance. Delighted in the finances to bring Deera on loan. Uh, delighted with the 2-0 win over Go Ahead. Disappointed about their draw with Helmand. Disappointed about their draw with Rhoda. And concerned about the finances involved to sell Sandy Brasseur. We sold him for 90000 right? He's valued at 61. I would have liked to. I mean, you know, he could have done a job for us, but he's the one that wanted to leave. So don't care. Don't care. All right, where do we come back? I guess that's the big question. And we've gotten into that Monday, Wednesday, Friday routine. So I believe a happy Wednesday to you today. So Friday, what is our expectations in the Dutch Cup? Reach the second round minimum. I don't know if the Dutch Cup is a big deal, but it is a cup, and it's the only one we play. So, you know what? Let's come back for Westlandia and Excelsior. Quick turnaround on this one, and then we may take a bigger jump maybe into the new year. Just see how things are going. So we'll see you guys uh, in a couple of days for the next episode. Remember, being every other day, you might not be used to checking like that. Hit the little notification bell. That way you get the uh, the, the notification to your email or on your tw uh, YouTube feed whenever I do get the video put up. Have a good one, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And, you know, let's go for... Uh, let's go for six likes on this video. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever it is. Um, double win. Six. Do we double it to 12? I got to get 12 views first. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.